Tomura. Mm -mm. If you return to the path of villainy, I will wring your little neck. Mm -mm. I'm going back to class. Mm. I'm never washing my face ever again. Not that I care, but why does he get a little kiss on the cheek after getting threatened if we don't? Uh, I didn't know that I have an uncle. Uncle, that's right. You would have been his uncle. <laughs> Papa, are you alright? I wonder how things would have been if you were with us. With me. You would have been so proud of how Shota turned out. I tell my cat I know when she meows at me, but to be honest, I don't know. I have absolutely no idea and that keeps me up at night. Aizawa san, this is a safe place to discuss your traumas. You're on Nezu's payroll, you have no power over me. Now write that down. Yes, Eri-chan? Well... Take your time. Wait, um... Go on. Mm. Do you take constructive criticism? Hmm. I only accept cash. Hand over your wallet. Uh, who are you? I don't think we can mansplain, manipulate, and manhor our way out of this one. Manslaughter it is. I lost my leg. I know, love, I'm sorry. What? No, that's not what I- I'm talking about my new leg. Can't find it. Come home. I can't hop all day. <clears throat> Aizawa kun if you don't mind me asking, why do you have such heavy bags under your eyes? <clears throat> oh, you know, I teach Midoriya. Oh, I'm so sorry. I wish I had more enemies. I'm sure you will. Do you know how much I fucking love you, huh? Do you? Yeah. Good. Don't you dare forget it. <laughs> you literally have your cousin and Tamaki right there. Oh, but this one's blue. Are you collecting him like Pokemon? Ugh. Never talked about him before. Where is he, Papa? Peace. <clears throat> My brother is. Long gone, dear heart. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Papa. I didn't mean to bring back bad memories. Um, thank you for agreeing to meet me, Sensei. Shoto told me about some things, and I'm not going to beat around the bush. Do you, um, like my dad? How my mom likes my dad? <laughs> your mom likes your dad? <laughs> no. No, Angel. You did nothing of the sort. I just... I miss him. He was mine. He was my brother, and he chose to run away from me. My own flesh and blood abandoned me. Would a day come where you abandoned me too, Angel? Don't think too much about it. I made peace with his passing years ago. Well, I'm sure he's looking out for you from heaven, Papa. I'm sure. <laughs> I doubt it. I know for a fact that my brother is very cross with me. Although he would have a good laugh at me, seeing me raising a good hero. <laughs> Papa, I'll make sure that he won't need to be worried about you here. I'll take care of you in his stead, Papa. So, Papa, please don't be sad. <sighs> Thank you, Angel. Angel, could you give me a word that starts with the letter A? Arson! Good job, little one. Have a cookie. <laughs> Is this how you're starting him on the path of villainy? We all have to start somewhere, dear doctor. You know what, Papa? I think I like Obero. You shouldn't. Why? He's simply doomed by the narrative. The narrative? That, that's definitely not the same. Why does Mike use your bathroom? Not the point. What I'm trying to say is, you're a good person who did bad things. You were dealt a bad hand in life, Tenko. And now, you can start over. You can have a good life, with your own choices this time. With family and friends who truly care about you, Tenko. If courage isn't the lack of fear, then by the same logic, being good doesn't mean the lack of bad thoughts. <sighs> Sorry, I'm not holding these two accountable. I'm just holding them. Sorry your family died by their hands. Their war crimes aren't their fault. They just never experienced true and genuine love ever before. Uh. Honestly, if I don't think about murdering my class at least three times a week, then there must be something wrong with me. So don't worry about the intrusive thoughts, Tenko. We all have them. Just try to channel your anger, frustration into something productive. Something productive? Like what? Hmm. Baking, perhaps? Heh. <laughs> Engie? More like C Renji. <laughs> We're back, and we're open for any of your questions. Uh, preferably questions that don't take me to court again. I don't know if I want Eraserhead to be my mom, or to be my mommy. Dude, what the f- 
Get out of my room. I'm good at your and your with and you. I'm Ace, actually. I never really had a chance to tell you before. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Let me rephrase my previous statement. May we hold hands while we cuddle? I like that. <laughs> Mirio, can you come to the parent-teacher conference tomorrow? Oh, uh -huh, is it finally time for your big brother to shine? I thought you'd take Aizawa sensei again, Eri-chan. Well, last time the teacher thought I brought a hobo from the street. I thought you were cool. I'm really disappointed, Eraserhead. Ah, uh, is that so? And here I was, thinking about letting you touch my boobs if you stop this war and all. <laughs> what a silly notion- Excuse me, what? I said, I was going to let you touch my boobs if you stop this war. Wh what makes you think that I never want to- I never had top surgery, you know. Dude, are you seriously considering- Shh, you have your daddy issues, I have mine. Don't ruin this for me. Let's say that I might consider your offer. How long do I get? One full minute. No binder? No binder. Yeah, okay, sure. Dude, WTF! No funny business eraser head I can immediately kill. Wait, right here? I'm not ready! <gasps> what FTM tits does to a MF? Man, the kids are all knocked out. It's not even dark yet. Cute, right? The cutest. You should know that I expect a large family if you plan on marrying me. Oh, did you finally fall for my charms? I guess you couldn't help it. After all, I'm THE present Mike, the future best DJ hero. What are you doing? Being charming. I'm calling off the marriage. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please marry me when we grow up. 